All right, so I'm going to make this Google form from the email you sent me. So I'm just in the email right now. So I'm going to open it up. And I think you said you were on chapter six. So I'll try to make this for chapter six question. So let's uh, go down to chapter six. Here we are, chapter six. So I have that open, which you know how to do. Uh, but then what I'm going to be doing is on um, my drive. And you might want to make a folder in your drive. That way you know where everything is. So you just click new um, folder and you might want to title it. Oh, what was the, where it began? It is front desk. Okay, so you make the folder that way you have everything in that folder and you know where to look for everything. So um, I'm going to open that folder that I just created. Where'd it go? It's alphabetical. Front desk. And then I'm going to come over here and hit new, more Google form. Uh, and one thing that's, that I'm going to try, and I don't know if this works, um, it should. But if I come up here to the settings, I should be able to collect all of their emails. So you don't even have to put on there like a question that says name. Uh, and then I put response receipts. I put only if requested. The only reason I do this is because Suzanne's done it a bunch of times. So, um, But this will collect their email so you don't have to put in uh, the question. So if you look here, it says, uh, it says right here. This form is automatically collecting emails for Longwood Central School District users. So you don't have to, um, to ask them for their name. You'll get, you know, their first name and then their last initial. Why is the razor not working? I don't know what's going on. That hope that's going to be there. It's annoying. Um, so anyway, when I go to my question now, I can choose, right? I don't want it to be multiple choice. I probably want to make it like paragraph. Uh, that way they can type as much as they need to type for each question. And then all I'm doing is going to come in here and copy paste. Uh, the question into the question they have here. And then if I need a new question, I hit plus and I can do that for each question. I'm going to title this chapter six for you. All right. And then I'm going to do that for each question for the chapter. So just copying and pasting and making sure that I am in, uh, I'm set up as a paragraph. Now it's not going to grade it for you because it's a paragraph. So you're going to have to go ahead and grade uh, each question. But all of those responses will get collected for you. And again, I'm changing it from multiple choice to paragraph each question. Okay, so look, it should say long answer down here. Ah. Son of a B. Oh, I could just paste it. Uh, I don't know why it's coming in and having some issues with the uh, text, but I'll fix it. Um, let me finish doing this. Hopefully, I can do this really quickly. Hopefully, there's not too many more questions. Three. And I don't know why my mouse is making that circle. So every time I'm hitting the plus, it adds a new question. And again, I'm just pasting. Oh, that's the wrong spot. And good. Now, so I think it's already starting to notice that I want them as paragraphs. So look, it already changed this over to paragraph for me. Add a new one. Nope, this one didn't change. Maybe I changed it first. Paragraph. Oh, that was it. Just those, just those three questions or for chapter six. I just make sure one, two, three, they're all in. Okay. So, um, now they're all in there. I'm at the form. I have this as chapter six, uh, front desk. And I'm going to make the title. It'll make it for me. Chapter six front desk. So that's all saved for you. Um, so I'm going to, sh I'll share this with you so you can have it. Um, now these are all going to be uh, type in questions. And then remember, once they respond, you click on the responses here, and then you'll be able to see their responses. Now I have zero responses, so I don't have the same amount of options that you would have if you, um, if you had responses in there. 
But again, you could open this here and it would show you each response for each question for every student. Uh, you could even just to look to see if they respond to it, just like the other sheet we looked at earlier. Uh, all right, if you have any questions, let me know.